Previously on Banjo Tooie. Oh my god, yes! Where do you think our seat will be? I can't see any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to sit on this big lump on the floor over here? Doesn't look very comfy. Uh-oh, I think it's boss time, guys. I mean, we haven't had a boss in this world yet. Oh dear, not more intruders. Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is? Heh, <laughs> you're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh yeah? Well, how about this, then? Whoop. Oh, God. Not the strange, wobbly, inflatable thing. I suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to blow one's own trumpets. Goop. I sense a battle coming on. If you insist. Okay, so yes, we have to fight this freak. I don't know, honestly I do like this boss fight. This boss fight is actually kind of fun. But, uh, let's see, we need to probably hit these patches. Don't! You found a weak spot! It looks like I might need some help here. You'll have to beat me from the air now. So yes, this is basically the game's way of telling, uh, don't cheap off this boss from the ground, get in the air and use your new move. That's basically what it's telling you. And honestly, I do like this boss fight because... I don't know, it's a lot of fun, honestly. The one thing that's kind of annoying, though, is the aiming. I feel like the aiming is a little off. Oh, God. Mr. Patch, leave me alone. I need to actually see what I'm doing here. It's also, like, pretty easy to actually, uh, kind of maneuver around him. I'm actually almost done already. A lot of the patches are going to be on the front. Oh, wow, I wasn't even aiming for that. Oh, my, I'm doing really, really good. In fact, I'm actually going to take a break right here and uh, restock on my ammo. Because you do need a lot of grenade eggs for this. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, aim for these two spaces. It does move a lot faster now, which is... Okay, good, I got that space. He only has one more, and... After we hit that one, we'll be good to go. He's very, very small, though. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's on his side! There we go. Uh, uh-oh. Looks like trouble. I'm actually kind of surprised I dealt with him so quickly. That wasn't too hard. Not that he usually is a hard boss or anything. He's definitely not, but... I actually aimed pretty well. And with that, uh, we're going to be actually finished with Witchy World for the time being. This is one of those worlds where you can almost finish everything, but there's literally just one move that's keeping you from actually finishing it. And it happens to be on the one quest that we got so close to finishing, but won't be able to until later. 
And I never found the uh, girl, did I? Well, let's look for her really quickly. You know, that's actually what I thought. She's in the star spinner. Ooh, I'm starving. Get me some fries and I'll leave quietly. Wow, you've got fries? Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Will you give me some food? Sure. Thanks, mister. I'll go and see if mom is ready to leave. Okay, thank you. Yep. You can see at the bottom that she removed it. Don't ask me how she did that, but... Eh, whatever. We'll live. We'll live. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and, uh, start accessing the next areas. There is actually something I want to show off that, um, I didn't exactly show last time. And yeah, we, uh, still have to show this thing up here, too. Looks like we have a beehive up here, or a bee house, or beekeeper house, whatever you want to call them. And we have an extra honeycomb piece under the house, too. Pretty cool. But let's see what's actually inside here. Hi there, big bear. I'm Honeybee, mistress of the honey. Ah, uh, why couldn't you be mistress of the jiggies instead? Because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, wasp lady. I'm Honeybee, a bee, not a wasp. Right you are, Hornet Girl. You have enough honeycombs for three more units of energy. Do you want to trade? Yes. I actually meant to come here and do this after World 2, but... I just forgot about it. So, uh, she has five units of honey, honey energy to give you in total. And, uh, as you can see... Yep. We still have to get two more. We need six more honeycomb pieces before we can get the next upgrade, so... That'll be the next two worlds before we're done. That's okay, though. It's okay. I think we can wait. So in order to move on, we will actually need to use the split-up move. I guess this is the game's way of telling us that uh, we need to prove ourselves before we can advance any further. I'm okay with that. As we have established, it's not really that hard to uh, advance the plot for this game. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're on the clifftop now. Uh, there are a few things we can kind of examine before we... Uh, are done with this. First off, we have a, another move. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. And yes, now we have the ice eggs. The ice eggs are a lot like the fire eggs, they just work in a much different way. Instead of uh, burning enemies to the core, they actually uh, freeze enemies to the bone. Also seems to be something over here. I wonder, I wonder what it could be. Oh, a train switch. And with this, the train can actually now come to the Isle of Hags on the cliff top. This will be a very vital location later on. 
But for now, it's uh, not going to do very much for us. We have that baby dinosaur on board, but I don't think we actually need to uh, do anything with her yet. And yep, there's the uh, Mumbo Pad facing where the train would be, so may give you an idea of what we actually have to do when we get to that point. But for now, I feel like exploring a little more. Here's Mumbo's pad as it is, so... I think we're good to go. And there's uh, one of the warp points, too. Uh, let's go down here, because... We'll find a switch of some kind. And this will actually open something kind of unique. It does take us to another part of the game, I guess. And will allow us to pick up some more notes, too. Here we have the Globo. Now this Globo is for Mumbo, who we can again find in this room, but I'm not going to give it to him yet. He'll be getting this Globo much later. For now we need to go to Yi Lagoon. It is written that 14 Jiggies are required to open this door. You have enough Jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to warp to my sacred temple? Yes. So you see, this is actually a pretty good way to uh, come back here and actually take the challenges without going out of your way so much. So let's uh, open up the next few worlds. I think we can actually open two, maybe even three levels. Not really sure, but we'll find out. Let's uh, do these puzzles really quick. After we do these puzzles, I am probably going to go to bed. Because I'm tired. It's been a good night playing Banjo, though. I did both uh, World 2 and World 3. And, uh, actually kind of looking forward to uh, World 4. World 4 is one of those worlds that people don't really like very much, but I really don't mind it. I've grown kind of accustomed to it, I guess. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can attempt the next one. For this one you need 20. Yep, figured as much. I think for the next one you actually need 28 exactly, so... I kinda looked out on that front. As World 5, I don't want to spoil too much about it, but I'm not really a big fan of World 5. Believe it or not, I think I actually prefer World 4 to World 5, and I think that's going to be a very, very, very big statement to make. 
because like I said before, people just do not like World 4 in any way, shape, or form. Let's just say you take an element that people generally do not like in 3D platformers and uh, base an entire level around that gimmick. After that, you may be able to see why people do not really care for it so much. Well, you know what, since uh, I kind of like doing uh, two levels uh, in this session, I think I'm going to do that for the rest of the game. So, do two levels per session. And even though I have enough to open uh, World 6, well, I, have, I have just enough. Quite literally, I, <laughs> I couldn't have gotten one jiggy less or otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. But, um... I'm going to save that for after completing the next two levels, and then I'll open that one and the one after that, just to kind of make sure I don't unlock too many at once. I think that would probably be a good rule of thumb. I think I'm also going to do that with uh, all the backtracking I have to do. I'm not going to go back to a level specifically to get jiggies that I missed, unless uh, I have all the other moves I would need to actually get all the jiggies in that area, so... I'm not going to go back to Glitter Gulch Mine yet, even though I technically have the means to get one more Jiggy from there. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. hope you guys enjoyed Banjo-Tooie, session number two, and I'll see you guys next time for session three. Later, folks. <laughs> <laughs>